Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. I'm Eliza. I'm here with a box of almost all cookbooks, but uh, real quick at the top, there's a DVD and an audiobook. So I'll just start with that. Uh, the DVD is Cruella, a new Disney reimagining of the um, 101 Dalmatians story. And then the audiobook is The Guilt Trip audiobook. We have this in book book and now uh, it's sort of like a thriller mystery type thing. We have it in audiobook as well. Okay, get ready for cookbooks. Do, 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 so pretty. Why am I standing wrong? Here we go. So pretty. <laughs> um, so pretty, but also a mess. We'll start with this one. Um, ah, this one. Let's start with this one. Nailed it. This is a really fun TV show on Netflix where they're supposed to bake things and uh, they deliberately, I think, uh, select less talented bakers and then things often go awry, as you can see in this picture. Um, I don't really know what the... Oh, look, it's like tells you how to actually make the kind of things that you're supposed to make on the show that people mess up. Um, <laughs> it's a really fun show to watch. I watch it sometimes with my kids. Sheet cake, uh, easy one pan recipes. Oh, I love this. Very good for a big group of people. Uh, you know, we're not really having like parties, big parties yet, but even little parties with your family or, um, you know, dreaming about the future. Uh, uh, super natural, simple, not to be confused with supernatural, simple. Uh, this is by Heidi Swanson. It's whole food, vegetarian recipes for real life. Oh, I love this because sometimes, uh, that was a, that was a page with no pictures. So, uh, I mean, that doesn't look super exciting. I guess it's a nice cozy soup, cauliflower soup with wonton chips. Okay. I take it back. That sounds really good. Um, Ooh, here's a nice big picture. Uh, looks like a pretty nice setup for the recipes. Most of them seem to have pictures, um, on the same page or the next page and yeah sometimes uh, cooking natural stuff can seem intimidating but you know it's nice to have a cookbook that's trying to make it easy uh the weekday vegetarians oh another good concept <laughs> um and it looks like there's a yummy soup on the cover and some spaghetti so this and this is by jenny rosenstrach and it um but it's just a plan for eating less meat. So even if you're not a full vegetarian, ooh, this is a cabbage recipe. I am a big cabbage fan. I know it's not the most exciting vegetable. Uh, do do do. Stewy black lentils with chards and feta. Ooh, that sounds delicious. That's nice. Some ideas. Again, you know, if you just want to be a little more vegetarian, even if you're not ready to commit. Oh my gosh. Anthony, let's go dinner. So he must be some sort of celebrity chef person. I don't really know, but <laughs> just that's what I sense. Wow, that looks delicious. Um, they're very good at these cookbooks of getting the nice, the nice photos. So let's just see a sample golden root uh, vegetable pot pie. That looks delicious. Breakfast for dinner pizza. That's an idea. Oozy egg and sausage sandwiches. Not really a new concept. Armenian pita pizza. That sounds fun for something something different. Uh, and here this looks like another. Oh, I've even I have heard of this celebrity. Her name is Trisha Yearwood. I think she was a singer. And Trisha's Kitchen, easy comfort food for friends and family. Uh, instant pot collard greens, party burger, hmm. cornflake fried catfish, uh, and I think it's just the season for this kind of thing. This uh, is called One Hour Comfort, quick, cozy, modern dishes for all your cravings. I think we have similar cookbooks, but honestly, this is the kind of cookbook where it's like it's really hard to resist a new one. Um, and this noodle thing, I don't really know what's going on, but it looks really delicious. I, I am doing this right before lunch, so it's possible that I'm just hungry. But like, look at this uh, old fashioned chicken noodle soup, white chicken chili, really nice presentation with the photos and the recipes, ingredients, super clear, a little right up at the top, roasted carrots and shallots, buffalo cauliflower bites. Oh my gosh, I could keep going forever. <laughs> 
And the very last one. Once Upon a Chef with by Jennifer Siegel. And this is Week Night Weekend. Okay, so it's 70 Quick Fix Week Night Dinners and 30 Luscious Weekend Recipes. So that's the breakdown there. Um, wow, that is, we've had all this like vegetarian stuff, but that looks like some serious uh, meat right there. Um, hmm, something sweet. I don't even know what this is. Huh, that's weird. It doesn't even, oh, oh, it must be for the next page. Milkshakes. Uh, hmm. Oh, here we go. Uh, crumble. Popovers. Panko crusted sal salmon cakes. Was a, weren't we in the weren't we in the sweet section? I would have thought salmon would be in the savory section. Are we in a new section? I don't. So maybe a little a little more confusing, but still looks uh, really really delicious. Um, here she is on the back. It's my whole box. Nice influx of cookbooks for the fall. It's getting cooler here and it's a really good time to, you know, you don't have to worry about your oven heating up the kitchen. You actually want your oven to heat up the kitchen. So get excited. Yay. I'll be back with more.